Uh, what is going on, everybody? How you guys doing? My name is JX Kicks, and I want to welcome you guys back to another video. Um, it's really late at night, so I gotta, you know, sound a little bit low. But um, so my birthday is in a couple days, and I uh, my family wanted to give me something nice, and so they got me something pretty cool as a pair of sneakers. Obviously, you know what I'm saying. Uh, but I wanted uh, to review it a little bit because I haven't had a pair of these sneakers at all in my life and I always wanted a pair of these um and uh basically there's just there's just been a lot of controversy with this brand specifically um and so with this sneaker that this model that came out this year I'm just well last year I'm just happy actually wait no it did come out this year just early January but um with it coming out as like a whole new model, I wanted to take a look at it. And it's on shelves. This sneaker usually was used to never be on shelves, but now it's on shelves. I don't know why. But uh, yeah, it's on shelves. People are not picking the sneaker up. I don't know why. It's a beautiful sneaker, in my personal opinion. And um, yeah, one thing I got to say, though, about the sneaker in specific is that this is something that people was so hyped about back in 2016. There's your hint. 2015 2016 and then eventually it just completely died down because the hype wasn't there no more there was no value on it but for the people who are sneaker collectors and y'all know about this shoe y'all know that this shoe is very comfortable this is something that's still stylish to this day and this is something that you could rock pretty much on a daily basis if you want firstly for me this is a beautiful sneaker that i'll be rocking on vacation and i figured this would be just the perfect shoe to um just to wear so i'm grateful that my parents got me this and my family did hey yeah let's take a look at it so as i can tell by the box we got a adidas human race like i said this sneaker right here was very popular back 2015 2016 with it's a couple like it's a couple main colorways which was green i believe it was green i believe it was yellow red and i think it was blue i think those were the four main colors my favorite one, even though I like red, my favorite one had to be the green one because it had this simple, this had like this the triangle logo with the hue on it. And for some reason, I thought that was so clean, so simple and so clean with the green color on it. Um, I usually don't like green, but in this case, that green itself was just, it was nice. Um, but yeah, as y'all can see, it's the, um, bro, I can't even pronounce it right. The Human Race NMD is the animal print. Uh, like I said, these came out during January of this year, 2023, and I was just so happy to get this sneaker um, for my birthday because this is something that's I wanted in my collection for a long time. I didn't really care what colorway it was. I just wanted a pair. And even though there's no hype on these sneakers no more, I still love this sneaker nonetheless. Um, it's very comfortable and I will rock it to as much as I please. But the box is basically just like the older boxes, which is awesome. It got the Human Race logo established in 2018. And I don't know what that three stands for, honestly. But uh, yeah, it got the size, the size right here, the uh, the SKU number right there, and yeah, the other stuff. The rest of the sides are pretty much empty with the Adidas logo in like a rainbow type color. And then the Pharrell Williams logo that's yellow right there with the government name, if you will, on there. Um, and let's take a look at the shoes, man. Like I said, not a lot of people uh, really pay attention to the shoe nowadays. Personally, for me, I wanted to pick up this shoe because I thought it was something that could be different for the collection. Um, and yeah, so let's take a look at these real quick. These are... I know a lot of people are going to be clowning me, but that's okay. These are the Adidas NMD Human Race uh, for o. Williams Animal Print. This is literally the name of the animal print. But yeah, um, so pretty much what this shoe is consistent of is pretty much, um, it would say this is mesh with the animal printing uh, sewn onto the mesh itself. Um, this is a colorway that not everybody likes. Percy, for me, I did like this because it's, you know, usually when it comes to NMDs, they're very plain. Um, when it comes to the upper, usually you have the one, you know, the letters or some type of picture, and then everything else is kind of completely like, which I'm gonna call it, they're plain. But in this case, we have the animal print all over the shoe, which is what made me so attracted to the shoe. You have a Pharrell William, you have an NMD, or a human race that's finally like completely covered in 
some type of print. And I remember talking about these when they first came out. Like when I first seen the shoe, the orange one, I mean the green ones, I'm like, okay, it looks very simplistic and it's cool, but I wish there could have been something like a little bit more to it. So um, when the Billionaire Boys Club uh, Human Races came out, I thought that was so cool because it had like the, the dog print on it and it had the astronaut pair. And I couldn't get that pair because it was very limited. And I was like, okay, cool, it is what it is. But I still wanted a pair. And when these came out this year, I'm like, okay, let me see if I could try to get a pair. And even though I got them a month late, I'm happy that I got them in the collection anyway. Um, this is the colorway I did want. They do have another colorway that's like orange, green, yellow. And this, it's got the animal print to it too. But I wanted something a bit subtle, but look extreme at the same time. So the subtle part is obviously the colorway, and then the extreme part is pretty much the patches on it, the cheetah patches. Um, but when it comes to the shoe itself, we're gonna have an all gray upper with uh, black black coloring to it as well. Um, obviously your upper is the main part of the attraction to the shoe with the cheetah print, like I said, being black and gray, and then your mesh is gray as well on it. This uh, sneaker itself comes with regular mesh. Um, We've been seeing on uh, Pharrell's itself that's been coming out re uh, recently that they've had different types of mesh. So the Billionaire Boys Club ones had like these ridges on it, which was, I thought it was one of the best ones um, because it had like a different type of mesh. It had a different type of comfortability. But in this case, since, it's a, since this is more of like a general release, they kept it with the regular mesh with also the their embroidered patches to it, which I thought was so cool. Um, Percy for me, these run a little bit big, so I'm a size eight, eight and a half. I ran a seven and a half in these and I tried them on, they felt perfect. So if you do have a chance to try on a pair of sneakers in the store, go right ahead. I would completely recommend that more than trying to buy a pair of sneakers online. Um, as we keep on going, uh, we all know that when it comes to human races, NMD specifically, um, their laces are a bit different. So these perforated holes, you could kind of customize how your laces are fit. Um, Percy for me, I'd rather keep it more of like a DS type look. I thought this would be fine. I don't want to mess with it. If anything, I'll kind of change the laces with these green ones, which do come in the shoe. It comes with the shoe itself. Uh, these are 3M laces as well as these right here. Um, I might switch them out. I'm not too sure. It depends what I'm going to be putting on for vacation. I don't think this is going to match anything I have. I think this would be a better subtle fit, but um, knowing me, I probably would switch them anyway. Um, to keep on going with the shoe itself, it, the boost material is finally colored out. Um, that's not black or it's not white or it's not red. We finally got a different type of color, which is gray. And I thought this was cool because it matches. It makes the sneaker look like a monotone, simple, but yet crazy looking sneaker. Um, with the white boost, it does get dirty fast. So I'm happy they chose a color that's pretty much, a you know, not too light, not too dark, but it's right in the middle because it's literally black, white mixed together which I thought was a pretty cool type of uh, theme to it, being gray. The bottoms, you do have the regular white boots, so just expect the white boots on the bottom to get mad dirty, mad quick. Just expect that, but it's nothing too crazy. Um, the traction on NMDs, keep in mind, this will fade away mad quick if you use them a whole bunch. This is like a regular traction for NMD. This is not the, um, what, what the NMDs call the track ones. There was nothing like that. This is like a simple regular NMD. If I was to bring you down an NMD, it looks exactly the same as these. Um, do I wish that they kind of had the track, the track ones? Absolutely, because that traction is perfect. But in this case, if you're looking for a regular pair of NMDs that's based off the old school ones, these are cool for you to go with. Um, something else that you will notice about these NMDs um, is that when it comes to a, a regular pair of NMDs compared to the rails, four rails, the cage is like like i said it's more customizable when it comes to your laces you can uh work with them you could double even double lace it if you want to like you could put these gray with the green you can kind of finesse it and you could just do so many things with these laces that um the lace holes that it it makes your sneakers seem similar to others but pop out in a lacing sense so which makes this shoe kind of like customizable and that's why it was so much of a love shoe because you had a simple simplistic sneaker but also a customizable sneaker at the same time um, and that's what sneakerhead is like when you when you're able to customize your shoes without messing it up with paint or anything. Percy for me, that's what I like. So this was a good shoe for me. Um, going back to the material wise though, the back tab we do have a Pharrell William, the government name if you will, with the green on it. And then on this side, uh, you do have the Adidas logo on there, the trademark. Bam. 
Um, ain't nothing much to talk about these sneakers. Like I said, this was a birthday present from my family, and I'm so appreciative of it because these are, I'm gonna be wearing these. I'll, I'm gonna love these sneakers to death because these are, these are such a nice sneaker, uh, in my personal opinion. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section below of these. Um, I was about to say drawings. Uh, Adidas NMD Pharrell Williams, uh, or Pharrells, whatever you want to call them, human races. In the comment section below, do you like these sneakers? Do you like the patches? Do you like the cheetah print? Or this is something that you would be leaving them, leave, leaving them in the store? Would you consider them picking them up because of how they look? Or this is just to sit on? Uh, like I said, to my personal opinion, this is definitely a cop for me. Um, not just because they got it for me for free or whatever, but this is more of just... A subtle sneaker that looks that's popping out so yeah i appreciate you guys for watching the video um i thank you guys for subscribing i thank you guys for the support we're about to hit 120 subscribers uh we need like four more let's try to hit that goal real quick and yeah once again i appreciate you guys for all the support i thank you guys for even liking the videos commenting and letting me know about what i could work on and what what you guys wanted to see in general i really appreciate that because it really helps me out with the channel and it really just helps me out you know what content to get out in general um i'm gonna start doing sneaker trades like kind of like introducing you to i can't even talk the uh, introducing the sneaker trades you know in the videos when i do sneaker trades i usually just review the sneakers but in this case i kind of want to bring you guys like as a vlog so let me know in the comment section if that's something you guys want or if y'all want me to keep it the old way just reviewing the sneakers plain or simple um but yeah like comment and subscribe once again i appreciate your support and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.